Um, but the other explanation is ancient structure. So if you imagine that, say, 350,000 years ago, the human population was substructured into three groups, here one, two, and three, one in the Near East, one in Northeast Africa, and one more Southern Africa exchanging genes, but quite differentiated like human populations today. Um, and then what happened is population one went off and became Neanderthals a few hundred thousand years later, and populations two and three continued to exchange genes um, and then evolved into modern humans, but population two retained a little bit of extra proximity to Neanderthals because it started out that way, not complete homogenization. Then when during the out-of-Africa expansion, which potentially was from a northeast population, it would have retained a little bit of extra proximity to Neanderthals.